Hey, it's Brett Gregory. I'm so excited to be here with you today. We have an amazing presentation for you. My good friend, Joshua Hayward is here with us. I want to make sure you can hear us. Can you hear us, Joshua? I got you, brother. All right, my man. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. So we have some great information for you. And But before we begin, as always, tell us what city and country you're tuning in from. I'm going to give a shout out to Jeanette from Southern Maryland. Looking forward to a great class. Uh, Jay, um, hi, is Jeanette. And so Brenda is Aloha from Las Vegas. Awesome. Valentine, welcome. Good shout out there. You said, uh, yuppie. <laughs> That's fantastic. So tell us what city and country you're tuning in from. Tom is from Naples, Florida. Welcome. Minnie's from Austin. Good to have you here with us. It's always so excited. Ryan, hey guys, how you doing? Is from Ohio. Going to give a shout out to, uh, Janine is from, uh, Wilmar, Minnesota. Um, Varicosa is from Cologne. Welcome. So I love Cologne. Um, Carolina is from uh, Alberta and Thea is from, um, is it uh, Thea Breda? I'm not sure exactly. Hey, Robin from New Zealand. Good to have you back. Sherry is from Florida. Lynn's from Seattle. Marla is from Bloomington. Jill's from Chicago. Brendan's from Atlanta. And Alan is from Sacramento. So great to have all of you here with us today. And we've got a really special treat for you. So I'm super excited. So, um, my good friend, Joshua David Hayward, is here, and he's a mountaineer and adventurer who travels the world full-time, climbing mountains, participating in extreme sports, exploring exotic landscapes. He works on average between four to eight hours a week, empowering messengers to master mindset, mechanics, marketing, and monetization of their messages so that they can make a monumental impact earn a massive income, and create an epic life of purpose, passion, freedom, and fulfillment. And um, all of those things I'm a huge fan of. So for any of you who have ever followed my story, you know that I was a suit and tie guy for a decade before 2006 when I lost my brother lung cancer. I took off my suit and tie. I sold everything. I moved down to Costa Rica. I bought a 164-acre property to completely live my dream and fulfill a purpose helping other people while creating, you know, my third seven figure business. And so I'm always, uh, you know, I got a chance to meet Joshua at uh, an event in San Diego and um, we totally hit it off. Actually, we've, we've, uh, we seem to keep crossing paths and uh, because I was so excited about what it is that he's doing, I invited him here to share his information with you today on how you too can create this amazing lifestyle, purpose-driven life where you can make a huge impact and live that true life of freedom. So Joshua, thank you so much for being here with us today. Yeah, my pleasure, brother. Thank you for the invite. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh man, awesome. So tell us just uh, a little bit, I gave that a little bit of introduction, but give us a little bit of background about you and tell us what we're going to be learning today. Yeah, great question. Uh, so my story really in a, in a short time frame, um, grew up, my parents didn't have much money and I realized that in order to get anything I wanted, I needed to make the money myself. So leaving high school, felt a lot of pressure to go to university, but I didn't want to do that because I just wanted to make money. So I ended up taking a construction job. Eventually when I was 21, started investing in real estate on the side. And then I got dragged to my first personal development event, <laughs> which <laughs> totally changed my life when I was 22. So this was seven years ago, almost, and shifted my mindset and belief systems around money, around business, around delegating things. And I started to go to more and more events and get more and more results, make more and more money, and realize that this stuff actually works. I want to teach nice. and train other people. Fantastic. So then I started a training company. I moved to the East Coast of Canada to take a personal development training company there because not a lot of people go there. Um, and over the course of the next year, I made $0. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's how I started out too. Join the club, my friend. <laughs> yeah, tw 12 months was $0, $0, $0. <laughs> I, I know the feeling. <laughs> and, and I felt really... I got to a point of being really depressed and discouraged because I had this, this message to share and I wanted to make an impact and I wanted to help people, but it wasn't showing up and creating results for me financially that I wanted. And, and I know that feeling too. And I just want to uh, shout out to anybody who's listening. I mean, if you are currently struggling in your business or if you've ever struggled in your business, you know, you know, it, it doesn't feel good and uh, it can be really tough, but uh, I know you've gotten, you've persevered, I've persevered. I just wanted to 
um, just acknowledge, you know, allow you to acknowledge that in yourself. If you're in that spot in your business and you're struggling and it's discouraging and you're saying, when is this thing going to pop? You know, it's really important that you do persevere and know that 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 is a, a very normal process of starting a business and it's those who can persevere and get over it that that really can go on and make the big impact so uh, sorry go ahead and continue yeah all good thanks for sharing that and just to reiterate what you're saying brett it really is it's like the the ebb and flow of the river there's this this process of times where there's there's going to be a lot of stuff going on that the results might not be coming and then there's going to be these peaks that are like yeah this is amazing and it's just all part of the process yeah um, Absolutely. So for me, the, the shift that happened after 12 months of not making any money sharing my message finally dealt with some mindset stuff. Um, and for me, the specific mindset was a belief that I was too young. And uh, as soon as I got over that, because I was 23 at the time, uh, I started making a ton of money. My first month making any money was over $30,000 and built a company where I had a team of four people. We were doing about 100 live events per year in eight wow, different Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And and I wasn't listening to my coach on some specific strategic things in my business that I ended up getting burnt out and burning it all to the ground and just wanting to disappear and actually got to a really dark spot where I, I had a death wish. I wasn't going to take my own life, but I was hoping that something would happen to me. Wow. Yeah, that's, and, that's, um, that's intense, my friend. And, and I, I do want to do a, a quick check in with, with those of you who are watching. Um, cause you said something that, uh, that really struck and stood out. You said, talked about a limiting belief, um, that you were too young. And I think anybody who's started in a business, uh, likely has gone through something like that. So I would love to hear from, uh, you who are watching, what is your limiting belief that's holding you back in your mindset right now, whatever it is, maybe I'm too young, I'm not qualified. You know, who, who am I to be teaching this kind of information, whatever it is, go ahead and share that with us in the uh the chat and so go ahead and continue yeah great question um so ended up burning everything to the ground uh letting my staff go negotiating all of the agreements with my clients and realized kind of through that process of deconstruction that my my desired lifestyle was to travel the world full time and that i had gotten stuck in this other belief that I needed to have a million dollars per year in revenue to be able to go and do that. Yeah. And through this deconstruction process and burning everything to the ground, I realized, holy crap, I can go travel in 95% of the world for $2,000 a month. Wow. So yeah. I started to go travel. And when I started traveling, it's like, okay, cool. So I'm going to travel, but I need to figure out how to make money and how to make money online through a, a digital means that's location independent rather than, than location dependent like my, my previous company had been. And that's when I figured out what I call the Facebook freedom formula mm. where I just started using Facebook organically using my own personal profile to attract my ideal clients into a conversion process with me, whether that was a one-on-one -on -one conversation onto a webinar um, and then eventually sales pages. But ultimately when I started this, I figured out and I started making like $20,000 a month working wow. less, less than an hour a day, <laughs> uh, climbing volcanoes, traveling the world and just posting on my free Facebook profile. I didn't have a website. I didn't, I wasn't using the list that I had from my previous company. I had no branding. I had no ads. I had nothing. It was just me on my personal profile, sharing my message and attracting the people to me that were ready to hear that message and ready to invest for additional support with it. So let me, let me just take a quick step back because I want to also pinpoint something else you said to you. Your original limiting belief was that you were too young and, and there was another limiting belief that you needed a million dollars a year to travel. And I want to just point out, so a few other people like Ryan said his limiting belief that he's too young, don't know enough. Sherry says that it's she's too old. You know, it's the opposite. Um, Angelica said for me it was being too old or that my mother my mother language is not English even though I'm proficient. Alan said, limiting beliefs, uh, not good enough, always fail and be rejected and humiliated. I totally, I feel you there, Alan. I know exactly what that feels like. Kathleen says, 
something along the lines of only this works for other people. Oh, that's like my favorite one, Kathleen. Brenda says, I only want, I, I got to wait until I have more knowledge. This is like the, the professor syndrome, you know, somebody who's always getting their, their next master's degree or their next certification or their next, you know, PhD before they can actually go out and start their business. Um, Sharon says, uh, or Brenda says, I need more training. You know, um, Angelica says living on an island. So that that's huge. So we all suffer from this same sort of thing. And when I say suffer, you know, it's a pretty much a universal that anybody who started their own business has this kind of limiting belief. But now you had a big shift in your limiting belief. Now that first shift was, hey, I still can have this lifestyle that I want. I can actually travel. I don't need a million dollars a year. I just need 2K a month, right? And so that was... That was like a big, you know, you lifted the veil over your head and say, wait a minute, I don't need to think that way, right? And, and uh, I want to ask all of you, what mindset shift would make the biggest difference in your business? What mindset shift? So, for example, Joshua, one of your, your mindset shift was you don't need a million dollars a year. You can do it on two grand a month. What was another big mindset shift that you had that just made a huge difference in your business? For me? Yeah, for you. Great question. Uh, so at that point in time, I think you started to talk about it a little bit with uh, you were you like you didn't even need a website. You just were posting on Facebook, and you were able to create twenty grand a month in income. Yes, uh, and that's really what was coming up in my mind is like less is more. Mm -hmm. In my in my previous company, I was wanting to do more events and more events and more events because that that's where the the big influxes of of cash were coming from. Mm -hmm. But in traveling and selling everything that I own and packing my entire life into a 36 liter backpack that I've now been living out of for the last three years, <laughs> I really got this minimalist and how can I, how can I accomplish the result that I want with the least amount of effort and time required? Nice. And realize that, and one of the reasons I kind of got burnt out with the previous company, the events company, was because I was trying to help everyone. Mm. And I realized that I didn't want to help everyone, that having everyone and trying to drag along a dead horse of people that were kicking and screaming and didn't really want the results uh, was what was draining me. So I realized I only want to work with other leaders, other messengers that have their message to share that are really committed to sharing their message. So I got really clear on the highest leverage of the people who wanted what I had we're willing to invest for what I had. We're going to do the work to get the results and that I was going to enjoy working with. And I just started working with those people. So fewer, fewer people at higher dollars and just creating the results that I wanted and supporting them and sharing their message, having a residual impact so that I could help everybody residually, not me being engaged with everyone. And so I'll, I'll summarize what I heard you say and the big shift that you made there is is not uh, less is more is certainly part of it, but getting really clear on the customers that you could add the most value to, and you know the ones that you can make the biggest difference to, the ones that you are truly meant to serve, and there's so many cool synergies that happen when you get really clear on who that customer is, and I like to start with who do you add the most value to because that just that seems to be the fastest way to figure out who your ideal client is. But when you figure that out, then there's so many synergies that happen. Usually you find clients who you share values with. You cl find clients who you like. You find clients who you're enthusiastic to serve. You find clients who appreciate you. They pay you well. They refer you good business because you do great work for them. There's so many cool synergies that happen. Did you did you encounter any of that? Um, yeah, so... What I realized too, and I came up with these questions, and it's something I share in my Facebook Freedom Formula training and Kick Ass Coach Academy of identifying, okay, who who do I really want to support? And, and it starts with like, okay, who's who's open to my message? Who of the people who are open actually want it? Of the ones who want it, how many of those are willing to invest for it? Because wanting it and actually being willing to invest money for it are two different things. Yeah. Of, of the people who are willing to invest for it, who of them are actually going to do the work because I only want to work with clients that are going to implement and get results because that's what makes me feel good is when my clients get results. And then who am I going to enjoy working with? And only if they fit into all of those categories would I take them on as a client. And what happened, it, kind of the, the shift that was really cool is in talking to people, I'd get on the phone with people 
or on a, on a Skype call or something. And I'd be talking to them. And instead of coming from a place of, I need to sign up this client, it was coming from a place of me interviewing them. Yeah. See if they were a fit to work with me, if I wanted to give my time and energy to them. Yeah, that's, that's a brilliant, uh, that's a brilliant way to go about it. And, and for so many reasons, but I love the idea that, you know, you're trying to figure out first if you can serve them. So that means when you're, when you have that call, what we, most people would consider as a sales call, you're really considering it a qualification interview. Are they qualified for you? Because the reality is there's millions of them and there's only one of you. And when you can go in with um, that kind of a mindset, and it's not an arrogant mindset, it's truly a mindset of the only way that I'm going to be able to serve you best is if uh, you're a fit. And, and, and if you are, then I'm going to just knock it out of the park for you. And so we need to sit down and figure out if you're a fit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. exactly. And, and that's, that's a huge thing. And, and I think one of the reasons... I was able to be success, successful <laughs> so quickly with the, the first events company and start making a lot of money really quickly because I was just really committed to sharing my message. I knew who it could serve and support. I talked directly to them. And the piece was I was unattached to the outcome. Mm -hmm. There wasn't a neediness about I need this person to sign up. It's like here's the offer. It's amazing. It's going to totally change your life. Take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Um, there, w there wasn't any convincing people or manipulation. It was like, hey, if you sign up for this, whatever program I'm offering to whoever it is, like I know I'm making the offer because I know it's going to serve and support them to get the results that they want. And yeah. um, an attachment to outcome is just a super powerful place to be in that conversation. Yeah, I'm a big fan of where you know you clearly have a ton to offer. And the conversation is more about how qualified are they and uh, having them qualify themselves to you as opposed to you selling something to them. And I've discovered for us that's, that's worked extremely well. It sounds like it's worked well for you too. Yeah, it has. And it's something that I'll, I'll talk more about a little later on on how to utilize this with Facebook. But one of the things in offers, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or even on a webinar or at a live event is qualifying people and disqualifying people. Mm -hmm. So when you're making an offer is talking about who is it for and who is it not for. Yeah. Saying who it's not for is just as powerful as saying who it is for because it disqualifies the people who it's not a fit and then people who it is a fit for them, they're like, oh, well, that's not me. I'm, I'm going to be who it's a fit for. Yeah. And they kind of get the, this, they're oftentimes ego comes into play of, well, I don't want to be one of those people. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and gets them to, to put more effort into qualifying for whatever the offer is. Yeah, I like that. That, that. that you tend to end up with much better clients, higher paying clients, and truly clients that you can get better results for. And, and I mean, that part is, uh, to me, is key. You know, just imagine if you only worked with clients that you got amazing results for. And, and therefore, in order to do that, you, you could only work with certain clients. So who are the clients that you get the very, very best for? So just imagine 100% of your clients that you worked with, maybe it's a smaller number of clients, but they all got amazing results. They're going to refer you customers. They're going to refer you customers like them. And they're going you know, to talk about how amazing your results were to their friends and on social media. And that's a great way to have this perpetual loop of customers always coming in. So uh, I love what you're saying. Yeah, awesome. So what else you got? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> uh, so one thing I would love to do is I'd love to serve and support you guys that are here on the line right now with the most valuable value possible uh, with just a bunch of what I've learned about Facebook over the last three years that I've used to attract high paying clients to attract people into webinars uh, and to make hundreds of thousands of dollars from Facebook organically, uh, sometimes over a hundred thousand dollars in just one month with 12 hours of work. Wow. Uh, and in order to do that and support you guys at the highest level, I'd love to hear who you are. Like what business are you in? Are you a coach? Are you a consultant? Are you a speaker? Are you an author? Are you a chiropractor? Are you a doctor? Um, so if you guys just want to go ahead and type into the chat role, 
um, like who you like your occupation and kind of what what your message is that you want to share with the world, um, whatever aspect that is, that would be that would be fantastic for you guys to type that stuff in there, and then I can kind of tailor the content and some of the specific things that I use on Facebook and strategies to support you uh, at the highest level for actually implementing this in your business, because it it's there's a whole lot of different things going on and a whole bunch of voodoo hacks and tricks and everything um, <laughs> that I get into in some of my other trainings in the, in the Facebook Freedom Formula and all that stuff. But I want to share kind of the foundational stuff with you um, in, this, in this training. All right. So Sue has a job list of job seekers and employers. So it sounds, Sue, are you like a recruiter? Uh, Angela runs a psychic hotline. Brenda is a small business trainer. Uh, Kenneth is an executive consultant. Cameron is an energy consultant who helps lower cost. Uh, Tom's in photojournalism. Leah's a digestive health consultant. Barb M is, Bam is alternative. is a coach helping people who have a habit of angry outburst. Oh my gosh, and find people solutions. Robert, Robin, we need to talk. Lisa uh, creates luxury and adventure travel for individuals and small groups. Marie Carmen is a nutritional consultant, and I only work with folks that are the in the executive arena and are looking to revitalize our health and energy. Fabulous. Yasmay helps yoga teachers grow their business. Maria is a career coach. Robert is a multinational corporate director. Brenda is a real estate investor and does real estate education. And Tazim is an esthetician. Great. And there's a lot more coming in. So you guys yeah. are awesome. Keep it going. Yeah. Wow. Awesome engagement. Awesome. That's, that's, that's <laughs> really cool. totally guys playing the game and being engaged rather than just exactly. passively sitting here. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, fantastic. So, so, when it comes to, Facebook, it comes to Facebook, one of the, the most important things to be aware of is who who is your target market and are they on Facebook? For most people, they are on Facebook. Um, there are certain demographics that aren't, but for most people, your target market is on Facebook somewhere, and it's about getting in front of them uh, with a message. And Really, and this is something in my my Facebook Freedom Formula training, and I'm going to give you guys access to uh, a special training video as well. Uh, Brett asked me to do something special for you guys, so I'm going to give you guys something here shortly. But one and, and I'm sorry, what, while you're finishing what you're about to say, just go in and tell us who your ideal high paying client is. So you told us what you do. Now tell us who's that ideal customer that you serve. So sorry, continue. Yeah, all good. All good. So first thing on Facebook, it's really about positioning and positioning you and yourself as the expert, the authority, the go-to person for the product or service that you provide to your target market audience. And, and that's the first thing is really positioning yourself and using your free Facebook profile is an awesome way to do this. Now, there's... There's Facebook profiles, there's business pages, there's fan pages, there's a whole bunch of different stuff, and the, the strategies to use on each of them are very similar, and there's some specific nuances, because I know, Brett, you've got an awesome training program on using groups and events and pages and all that stuff. Um, one, thing, one thing that I found in doing this is I didn't really, at that point in time, I didn't want to do a page or be paying for ads or managing metrics or any of that stuff. I just wanted to share my message. and. What I figured out is that I was able to very easily and very quickly position myself as the expert for other experts that wanted to share their message. And I did that by providing a ton of valuable content that was relevant to my target market audience. And I, and I did this, I've got a specific six, six, six like a, a list of six things to do every day on Facebook that I'll share here in a second. But I started sharing content and providing value to my target market audience and creating a contribution in their life by giving them a whole bunch of value for free right on Facebook on my personal profile. Nice. And I did that by posting videos, little training videos that were two to five minutes long about a specific topic that I knew my, my target market audience would get value from. I did it by posting, and did and do it by posting just text posts that are sharing mm -hmm. a specific lesson or result and then mm -hmm. sharing pictures of my lifestyle. And mm -hmm. a lot of what I've been doing for the last three years is quote lifestyle marketing where I'm just sharing my lifestyle. About 20% of what I post is business. The rest of it is me traveling. It's me on top of a mountain. It's me at the beach. It's me hanging out with friends showing that I'm a real it's person. Stuff that's 
that's way more interesting to people who you're friends with and also attracts the customers that you share values with. People who are interested in that kind of lifestyle are the ones that are going to be attracted to that. Exactly. And, it, and it's, it's part of the, it's, it's just me living my life, but it gets worked into the marketing because it's, it's showing what's possible and showing people something that a lot of people think that they want is like long-term mm -hmm. world travel. Um, mm -hmm. Not for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, so first thing is positioning yourself by providing really valuable content that your audience gets value from um, and proliferating with that. So position yourself, proliferate with really valuable content. And, and, and can you, but can you just give an example to, um, just a couple more examples so for some of these people can understand when you say position yourself, how would, um, what advice would you give to people on how they go about positioning themselves? Yeah, great question. Uh, so one thing is to call yourself something that's relevant mm -hmm. to what you do. Um, like saying, I'm a life coach or an accountant or a business coach, if you're a anything, then there's a whole bunch of them. If you look at my, like if you guys go add me on Facebook, um, just facebook.com slash breakthrough expert uh, is the, the short link or just search for Joshua David Hayward on Facebook and you'll find me. Um, you'll see that I've titled myself The Messenger's Mentor, which is I'm a, I'm a mentor to other messengers that want to share their message. Uh, I've got clients okay. that are like the, the sales strategist or the master coach mentor or the reverend of the revolution and calling yourself something that's relevant to your offer and your message. Okay. So I'm sorry. So, t tell us what, what do you say? you what do you say you are again? Yeah. So I call myself the messenger's mentor. The messengers. Yeah. Mentor. Okay. All right. So I would love to hear from you. Um, out there who are listening, what do you call yourself? Or if you haven't done so yet, if you, if you haven't come up with a title for yourself, what do you call yourself? Um, so it's not just a business coach. It's not just a health coach. It's not just a real estate investor, but it's something that adds value and that helps you with the positioning, such as what Joshua says, he is the messenger's mentor. Um, I do it in a slightly different way you know I call myself um, a uh, I am a business coach but it's specifically for enlightened entrepreneurs who want to make six figures working from anywhere so um, but I, I love I love what you're uh, talking about so it looks like so Mari Carmen says she's the detox mentor um, Angela is the angel doctor that's cool Cherry is the uh, social visionary Cameron is an energy navigator. Nice. Carolina is the, um, oh, well, I didn't see Carolina Chick. So uh, Kenneth is the executive mobile executive. Nice. And Janet is a spiritual life coach. Okay, cool. Good. Thank you. That was helpful. So go ahead and continue. Yeah, my pleasure. And that's really just one tiny piece of it. Really, sure. the, the positioning comes through sharing valuable content. Because when people are learning from you, when people are getting value from you, there's this automatic thing. It's like, hey, um, I'm going to use myself as an example. Hey, Josh knows more about this topic that I'm interested than interested in than I do. So he must know something. He must be doing something with it. Um, so there becomes this uh, this dynamic where they're looking to me for support on that specific topic. And right. As, as an example, kind of how I started this, because you can start this from scratch. I, when I went to go start traveling, I had no clue what I was doing online. Um, and, I, and I took some courses to learn about marketing and copywriting and all that stuff. But very quickly, after not posting on Facebook really at all for like six months of this whole deconstruction process in my business, I was very quickly able to just start. I would post one video every single day sharing valuable content to my audience. That was, that was my audience's biggest questions. And there's a way to figure that out. Um, but I would share like how to structure your coaching programs would be the title of my video or how to, how to choose how much to charge would be another one. Or one that I use often now is three awesome Facebook hacks to get more traffic and more clients. Nice. And, like things that your audience wants is shooting videos and making posts about those specific topics that provide value in their world 
Because when you're providing value and showing that you know more than they do, that's what positions you as the expert. Nice. Love it. And so um, uh, Veracosa said, and I, I'm sure I butchered her name, and I apologize. So she said she is the art marketing coach. I love that. That's good. Um, and uh, John is a creative uh, instigator. Interesting. Um, and Tazim is the retail sales catalyst. Oh, I like that. I think that's descriptive of what you do. Cool. Good. All right. I think you've inspired some people right now. Yeah, that's fantastic. <laughs> awesome. And really just want to acknowledge you guys for taking action and doing this stuff. It's, uh, it's really good. Beautiful. So right. does that answer your question, Brett, about positioning? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please do, and I'll, I'll, just, I'll just stop you when, when I have other questions. So go ahead and continue. Yeah, sounds good. So first is positioning yourself by proliferating with really valuable content. Um, and when you're positioned as the expert and you're sharing this valuable content and you're doing this consistently, the next piece to move towards getting paid is to promote and to promote something. Um, oftentimes what I will promote is a, a conversion process and the, the three main ones using just organic Facebook traffic is one, getting people into a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me or now with someone on my team, uh, where the conversion process to go from Facebook friend to client is that one-on-one -on -one call. Uh, another conversion process that works really well is getting people onto a webinar where now all my Facebook friends get to join me for a webinar, and then that becomes the conversion process to move my Facebook friends into paying clients. Uh, and then another one is into, like onto a sales page. If you wanna get into websites and all that stuff, having a sales page or just a funnel, um, and I'm not sure how, um, how educated on the whole online marketing scene your audience is, but basically having people opt in for something free and then having an offer where they can click a button to buy something uh, and that be the sales process. I do that every once in a while. Um, I've found the better conversion processes are getting people onto a webinar or into a one-on-one -on -one call. And if you're in a local area, you have a local business, then getting people to come out to like a free evening event can work really well as well. And you know, one of the things, uh, so I, I love personally word of mouth marketing and um, you know, I came, my background, uh, I, I uh, started out as a life insurance salesman back in 1996, and we didn't have websites, we didn't have email lists, we didn't have you know any of the technology. Facebook wasn't around at that point. Nobody was texting on cell phones. We didn't really didn't even have cell phones at that point. Um, and when we went out, uh, when we were building the um, building our network and building our business, it was all word of mouth marketing, 100%, 100% referrals. And, um, you know, and then we, I, I turned that into a, um, uh, a corporate financial advisory business, which we grew to $100 million under management without a website. We had no website at all. And so what I love about what you just said is keeping it very, very simple. Just inviting people, making Facebook friends with them, adding value in the subject that you are a master in, and then inviting them to book a call or you know, giving them access like, hey, here's this great resource that I can give you. We call that a lead magnet, and you know, some people call it your free gift in exchange for their email. And then you invite them to a one-on-one -on -one call. You don't need a website for that. You don't need a fancy system for that. You need a telephone you know, and a Facebook account. That's really what you need. And what I find is that um, a lot of times um, we tend to overcomplicate, you know, getting customers in, in this online world like we need to have this sophisticated funnel. And we really don't. We just need to add value to people. That's really what we need to focus on. If you spent, you know, 80% of your time just adding value to real prospective customers out there and then inviting them to a phone call, you could very quickly grow a six-figure business. So I love what you're saying. Yeah, awesome, thanks. So to, to summarize kind of that whole, the, the, and that's where, once you promote a, a conversion process, that's where you get paid and kind of the four foundational pieces of this. One is to position yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, number two is to do that by proliferating with valuable content and providing valuable content to your audience. Mm -hmm. Number three is to promote and number four is to get paid. Yeah.
Absolutely. Kind of the foundational stuff with that. And, and kind of another thing within all of that stuff, and the reason that this works is because by shooting videos, and this is with all my clients over and over and over again, starting to do videos and do a video every day is the thing that kind of tips the, tips the, I don't know the saying, but it tips something. The t- it hits the tipping point. <laughs> the tipping point. <laughs> um, that uh, they start to make a whole lot more money when they start doing videos. And the reason video works so well is because it's so engaging with people. It, it engages their mind. I've heard of the stat like 300% more than any other type of media because people are seeing you visually. They're hearing you auditorily. Um, and in your Facebook post of the video, you can also have the description where people can consume stuff via text. Um, and what happens through video is that people build a relationship with you. So mm-hmm. I go to events now all the time and I've got like 5,000 Facebook friends and thousands of people that are following me that they mm-hmm. think they know me. They think sure. they're with me and I have no clue yeah. who they are. I've never met them in my life. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> And, and the reason that this works so well is because a lot of people and, and in this industry of sh- oftentimes sharing a, a message, sharing a service, it's often very much relationship and it's relationship based marketing that I found mm-hmm. when I started that people are more likely to engage with a person like with me rather than with a fan page of me. They're more likely to send me a yeah. message and comment on my stuff. So that's why I went the route of using just my Facebook profile. Um, Mm -hmm. that people think they know me, they think they have a relationship with me. And then when I create an opportunity for them to engage with me on a deeper level, whether that's a webinar or a one-on-one call, then they take action on it. Yeah. And let me just read a question. So Angelica, and by the way, if you have a question for Joshua, please just put it right now in the questions box and we'll get to it. Um, Angelica has a good question. She asked, how long is your daily video? Great question. So it depends. Most times it's between two and four minutes. So it's pretty short because attention spans are short. However, (laughs) a longer video can work as long as there's a really good hook or a really good reason for people to watch. And um, Sue and Tom have a similar question. They want to know what what equipment you're using. You you just use your phone, don't you? Your iPhone? Yeah. So my my entire business has been built from my iPhone and my little laptop computer. Love it. Um, That's great. Like so simple, shooting videos on the summits of volcanoes saying, hey, what's up, everybody? Joshua David Hayward here, the messenger's mentor. I'm on top of this volcano. Check out that lava. And here's a great business tip for you. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and, and so Sue asked the question. She said, you know, hey, are you, uh, are they iPhone non-edited one at a time? And I think we just got the answer is yes. Do you have a title page or lead in or call to action screen on the end? And it sounds like the answer is no. You just pull out the video and do a quick shot on what it is that you're doing. So that's the lifestyle portion. And then you give them a cool business tip that allows you to have live the lifestyle that you live, thereby attracting customers that you share values with. Brilliant. Yeah, exactly. And one thing, like there was a point in time where I was like, I want to do a little intro thing or I want to edit, edit the video. And I got iMovie on my iPhone. I'm like, the time and energy it takes to do this editing, it's like, it's not it's the highest nothing. of its mind and it's not making a, a significant enough. Like if it got me one more client per year, I probably still wouldn't do it. Right. <laughs> I, not even probably, I just wouldn't because I don't have the patience so, for that. <laughs> so what you're saying is you don't need any editing on your videos. And I, you know, I shoot like the little selfie videos all the time and very, very rarely do we do any editing at all. We just, throw them up as is and you put whatever it is that you want to your call to actions in the comments on your Facebook page post. I, I love that idea. Yeah. And, and one thing, the reason I, I'm kind of sharing this a little bit more is that when I first started doing videos for my, my previous company, it's like, I wanted to be in the studio with all the lights. I wanted to say yeah. everything properly that it took me an hour and hundreds of dollars to get a five minute video done. Oh yeah. And now yeah, sometimes thousands of dollars. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, you know, definitely. I mean, and there are some times where you, we do a significant amount of, of uh, video production and there are some times where we, you know, get the lights out, get the cameras, hire the videographer, do the sound and we have the teleprompter. But, you know, only like a couple times a year. It's only if we're doing some really big production for a very specific reason. Otherwise, there's lots of selfies. I mean, that's part of why we're on Webinar Jam right now. We're not going to edit this uh, when we're done. 
you know, this is once it's done, it's up on YouTube and that's it, you know, and, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of doing that. And I think you, you know, you get a lot of your, um, and you come across as, you know, very approachable, I think partly because you're very vulnerable and, uh, but then you also have so much good talent that, you know, you attract all the, all the right kind of people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah. that's really my, my one piece of advice around that is to let go of being perfect for a couple reasons. One, it's not necessary. Two, it's not possible. And three, by doing one thing, like just by doing the selfie videos, it, I'm a real person. I'm not perfect and in the studio all the time. Sure. It shows that, hey, anybody can do this. I'm just this young guy walking around with a phone, walking down the beach and sharing value, creating value for my audience. Uh, and it works and I, well. And, and I, I love that as well. And, and it's like um, our friend uh, Lisa Sasevich says is that, you know, you, you make it so that it's good enough and, um, and you can keep improving later. And, you know, the other thing when you're doing videos, I remember the first video that I made, I was stuttering and stammering. I think I've dropped the phone, you know, it was just <laughs> terrible. But you actually get better at it with practice. Amazing, I know. But you actually get better when you do it consistently. And it just starts coming across uh, the right way, again, you know, that you're real and attracting the right kind of people that you want to attract. Yeah. Yeah. And, and one thing, um, if you Google how to be natural on camera, there's a video of me that comes up. Um, and one of the things to do, how I got really good on camera, because I used to freeze in front of the camera is that I just made a commitment that for every, every day for 30 days, I was going to look directly into the camera lens and shoot a video talking directly to the camera. And it's something nice. that I encourage you guys to do, whether for that first 30 days you don't post any of those publicly or not, is just get used to and get comfortable sharing to the camera as if it is your target market audience, as if it's your ideal client, talking directly to them and just saying, hey, here's what I want to share with you today. Hey, here's a special tip for you. Hey, here's something you should know about this industry. Here's something that would really help you in your business and just get used to and in the flow of sharing that value because video is one of the, the best ways to connect with your audience. It's one of the best places to have a really powerful call to action to get them to do something. And it's one of the best ways to build relationship with them because they see that you're, you're real, that you're human, that you're approachable, that you make mistakes, that you stumble over your words. Uh, and it gives them the, the hope and the, the realization that, Hey, they can do this too. And should I give out, a few people were asking about your um, Facebook URL. Can I give out your uh, Facebook link? Yeah, yeah. So I've actually got uh, one set up. It's fbfreedomformula.com forward, okay. slash, forward slash Brett if you want to take got it. it. All right. FB, let me uh, just go over there. I'm going to type it in fbfreedomformula.com forward slash B-R-E-T. Just one T, right? Okay, there you go. All right, I'll put that in. Cool, awesome. And then um, let's see. There was a couple of other questions that came through in here. Let me just see if I can reach them. Um, there was something. While you're looking for that, Brett, um, what yeah, go you, ahead. What you guys will find at that uh, at that link, fbfreedomformula.com/brett, um, is access to a 23 minute training video that I shot. I was in Guatemala at the time. Uh, staying on Lago de Atilan, which is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been, three volcanoes beside it. And it, I actually, I start by walking down the path with my, with my camera. I go get in the pool while I'm doing a training video. I'm like, just a second. I dunk under the pool. I come back up and I continue the training video. And in that video, <laughs> in that video I'm sharing si the six specific things to do on Facebook every single day consistently that will bring you a ton of results and a ton of clients. It'll position you as <laughs> for what you do um, that I can run through here in a second. But I want to see what, uh, what questions you have, Brett. Yeah, well, so Janine uh, commented um, that uh, her business is heavily ag-based community, I think agricultural-based community. When I posted a 15, second, 15 seconds of corn harvest video, I had an unbelievable number of Facebook views. Yeah, I think uh, we tend to see that a lot. Um, Sue says, uh, curious how you actually make money selling content or is it one-on-one -on -one consulting? Yeah, great question. Um, and it really, this works if you're selling a product, if you're selling a service, if you're selling coaching, if you're selling a live event, like whatever you want to sell, um, it can work through this because the strategy is to get the Facebook audience into a conversion process for whatever it is. Now, and over the last three years, for two years of that, I was working four to eight hours a week on average 
traveling the world full time and making twenty thousand dollars a month, give or take, depending on how much I felt like making. Uh, had one month over a hundred thousand uh, that I just decided, hey, I want to make this much this month, so I did it. Um, that I could do consistently if I wanted to. And now getting into more business, I now have a business partner. We're building four different companies uh, and have a lot of other stuff going on. Is that I anything converts? Um, getting into a sales process. I've sold. $97 webinars from Facebook that are totally digital that I don't ever have to do anything for. I uh, have sold like $2,000 digital online training programs from Facebook. Um, high ticket sales and coaching, like my consulting one-on-one -on -one is $90,000 a year uh, for working with me for um, consulting. I've sold $2,000 events and all that stuff because I've built relationships with people by providing value with them and then gotten them into a conversion process. Sometimes that starts with just a Facebook message back and forth uh, that then leads either to a one-on-one -on -one call or leads them to a webinar or leads them to a sales page uh, that gets them to take action on whatever it is that's relevant to them. And Awesome. That's, that's fantastic. Yeah, and one other thing on this is that it can be used to, 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 to sell or offer multiple different things, um, even within your own brand or different things that you have. And what's interesting and, and what works really well, if you're not familiar with uh, Jeff Walker's product launch formula and kind of online big launches of sharing, sharing value, sharing content, and then having an offer for something, um, is that, and it's something Gary Vaynerchuk talks about too, is like, he's got a book, uh, it's called like, I think it's Jab, 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 Right Hook. Um, you got it. And that's kind of how the online product launch world works. It's like free value and content, free value and content, free value and content, offer is that this same process works really well on your Facebook profile. And what I do is I, I think ahead about seven days of, okay, so what's coming up that I want to make an offer for? If it's the Facebook freedom formula, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to start posting content relevant to attracting clients with Facebook. All my videos are going to be about Facebook hacks and here's a traffic strategy and here's how to attract five clients this week from Facebook. And all my posts, not all, so all of the business-related posts are going to be specific to whatever the offer is going to be four to seven days from now. Because what that does is it gets my audience into that conversation already. They're asking me questions about that specific topic. They're mm -hmm. seeing information and content about that specific topic. They're realizing how much they don't know about that specific topic. That four to seven days later when I've got an offer, whether it's for a webinar or for a strategy session or whatever, they're already in that mindset. They're already thinking about that topic that it's top of mind for them. That when the offer comes up, the people who need the additional support are like, oh, hey, I'm totally taking advantage of this. That so is cool. Every single week can be a different little mini product launch, the Facebook product launch formula. <laughs> So and well, I guess that that goes into uh, Angelica's question. She asks if you have a sequence of daily tips that are congruent with the theme, and it sounds like you do, like from what you just said. Yeah, yeah. So in doing promotions, like so, I'm not sure the exact numbers, but if I looked at the the first two years when I was using this this system and this process really consistently, um, I made about. Well, I don't know. Let's call it let's call it half a million dollars, and that came wow. from maybe seven to nine times that I actually made an offer. Wow! Because I didn't have to make offers that often, um, because they just worked and they converted. Um, and the two offers that worked best for me, um, one was an offer directly to a one-on-one -on -one conversation that I would post randomly. That eventually I started charging for. I would do a post like random offer. I'm offering one-on-one -on -one 60 minute consultations with me uh, where we can talk about any of these things. If you're interested in that, then click here to pay $97 and take one of them. I've only got five spots available. Those five spots would go within 24 hours. Uh, I'd hop on the phone with all those people and all the ones that were a fit, I'd make an offer to for a coaching program, a mastermind group or a group coaching program. And then that's awesome. That. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then the other one, so I got people into one-on-one -on -one conversations or onto webinars where I'd put 100 people on a webinar that they paid for because um, I went throughout. I started doing stuff for comp complimentary, but then I was like, I want to want a higher level of people that are willing to invest for this content. Um, mm -hmm. And I started doing webinars where 97 people would pay $100 to be on the webinar. They'd get great value and content from that webinar for two and a half to three hours, and then I'd have an offer for the next thing 
that 25% to 43% on average would take advantage of, which that's would be great. like a $1,000 offer or $2,000 offer sometimes. Yeah, that's a great way to, um, you know, get people in. And I, and I love if you're, again, starting your business, I, I love starting with the one-on-one. -on -one. I feel like um, uh, for all of you out there, you can add value one person at a time. And you can stair step your way up, working out, figuring out how to add value to a group of people at the time. Um, and uh, you gave two really good strategies right there. Um, Raquel asks, uh, do you have only business associates on your personal profile? If not, how are you using personal friends taking all of the business postings? Yeah, great question. Uh, and it's often a, a consideration that many people have. It's like, well, I don't want to post about my business on my, on my profile. Um, sure. What are my friends and family going to think? And one thing is that I'm not, I'm not uh, like spamming people. Here's my business post. Buy my business. Buy my product. Buy my stuff uh, all the time. It's really about 20% of my posts, if that, are business related um, is one piece of it. And there's actually – so – it's funny, there's so many things I could share right now. <laughs> uh, uh, well, we only have seven minutes left, so yeah. <laughs> pick the best one. <laughs> yeah. um, is that be who you are and share what you do. Is that um, it's not, if, if your family or your friends don't like that your business stuff is there 20% uh, of the time, then they don't have to read it. And they can just stop yeah, reading yeah, it. Sure. Um, exactly. They can engage with what they actually want. And You'll, you'll notice it's something I talk about in the, the Facebook Freedom Formula as well. Is like there's different storylines that are going on on, on my profile. I've got a storyline about women because I'm single and different interactions that I have with women. I've got a storyline uh, that I had going on about my hair. Uh, Did you hear that, lady? She's single. single. <laughs> um, saying. There's a storyline about business. Um, there's a storyline about climbing mountains. There's a storyline about travel. Uh, and there's all these different storylines that are all happening at the same time as time progresses that different people are engaging with different posts and different storylines that are happening. Yeah. So I like that piece. Um, and another thing is that if, if your business is who you are and it's a message that you're sharing and there's people that are like, ah, I don't like that you post that stuff. Well then don't be my friend on Facebook. Um, <laughs> it's kind of my stand on it because I'm here to provide value in the world and to people who actually want it. If you don't want it, then that's fine. Perfect. And then the uh, third piece to answer the question completely around, do I only have business associates on my Facebook profile? Uh, no, I've got friends. I've got friends from high school. I've got friends that I've met at live events, people that aren't clients. And what happened is by doing the, the six things specifically, and I'm, I'm going to leave that for the video for you guys because uh, we've got short time here. So again, the, the link for that is fbfreedomformula.com slash Brett. Um, you can get access to that and go through that right after this call. Um, but by doing that consistently, even now, when I'm not consistent with this formula, because I'm working on some other bigger stuff, I still get like 10 friend requests a day from my ideal target market client. Because I, I've built such value in the marketplace, people are sharing stuff. Um, and because I've built that, I show up in people's like suggested friends lists. Which in, this, yeah. in my industry, there's a lot of overlap. Like people now have hundreds of friends in common um, that the people who have hundreds of friends in common with me typically are my target market audience. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love that. I, I want to, I know we're coming close to the end and I've posted Joshua's link a couple times. I just wanted to uh, ask Pam and Marie Carmen asked, what is your take on Facebook live? And I would love to do a little experiment. I actually have never done Facebook live. I would just want to ask you, have you done Facebook live? Great question, and it's it's been a big question in my mind too. I have not yet done it live. Let's do it right now. Okay, so here, a lot of people don't know how what Facebook Live is or don't know how to do it. Personally, I've never actually done it before, but I'm going to do it right now. Okay, so yeah. check All this right. out. Let's, let's, let's both play. Let's, let's do this. Okay, so here's first off how you do it. Now, Josh was probably going to do it on his personal profile. I'm going to do it on my business Facebook page. So let me just show you how to do it. It's super easy. So. Um, you do need the Facebook application, all right? So I'm I'm on my Facebook application. You just go, as you can see here, you can go to your um, 
page. All right, so I'm, I'm going to do it on my page. Now, again, Josh is probably going to do it on his personal profile. And all you do is you click this Publish button. So let me see if I can do this backwards here. So you click Publish, just the same way that you're going to, um, when you're going to write a post, OK? If you're going to post an image, you're going to write a post, whatever you do. And you see down there, right next to the camera button, it's this button right here. That's the one that you push, and it says, live video, make an announcement. Are you ready to go live? And let's hit continue. So, uh, and I'm going to hit, oh, you make an announcement. I'm going to say, first try. Here we go. This is fun. Uh, first try. While, while you're there writing that in there, Brett, um, to do this on the personal profile, you're just going to go to your, uh, here, you're going to go to status, like just to post a status. And then mm -hmm. down here, there's actually a button for Facebook Live. You click on the Facebook or the live video, uh, and then you would click allow access to allow access to your camera and all that stuff. Um, so it's almost identical, whether yeah. it's your page or your personal profile. Just the same way you would post a picture, just go there and choose the button that says go live. And so, you know, in this case, I'm going to hit it right here. All right, here we go. Go live. All right, you get, it gives us a little, little countdown. And voila, there I am live. How's it going, everybody? Giving you this shout out. And we can see here I'm on live with Joshua Hayward and Joshua David Hayward. And look at all of our people that we have on here. So I just want to give a little shout out to everybody. So Angelica, John, Lynn, Kathleen, Carolyn. And by the way, you guys can see, I'm just going to pan back. You can see like my, you know, spaceship room that I've got here. Uh, I've got my uh, three video monitor <laughs> along. It kind of kind of looks like I'm... Um, I'm in my, uh, you know, captain's chair and my um, uh, seat there <laughs> as a pilot. So go ahead, uh, Joshua. So are you are you on live now? I'm not. I can jump oh, on. Not? Okay, go for it. Let's see it from your side. All right. Cool. Yeah. Goes. So if you guys actually go add me as a friend on Facebook, you'll be able to see this because on my personal profile, I've got everything public. Um, so people who uh, like, even before I accept your friend request, you're just automatically following me. Um, all right. Yeah, so there we go. So we're now on live. Uh, and so this was for, you know, Carolyn and Kathleen had asked uh, those questions. Wait, was that right? Did I get those two right? Uh, no, sorry. It was Pam and Marie Carmen. What's your take on Facebook Live? Well, I'll tell you as soon as we're done. <laughs> um, and uh, so. Countdown timer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I right. think actually. What's up, everybody? It's Joshua David Hayward here, the Messenger's Mentor. This is my first time on Facebook Live, so I'm interested to see how this goes because normally I just post a video. I am hanging <laughs> out here with Brett Gregory right now. <laughs> We're pointing our phones at each other. Yeah. There's so many screens <laughs> happening right now. Um, we're both getting onto Facebook Live for the first time. Um, so we'd love, if you're watching this video right now, live, then if you can comment below, say the word live. Um, and if you're watching the recording, would love to do a test as well to see how this works. It, write the word recording below. So if you're watching this live right now, <laughs> type the word live below. Uh, and if you're watching the recording, then uh, then type the word recording. See, be fantastic. This is so awesome. So Kashi, who's on both on Webinar Jam and on live, she just uh, she just posted, hi, it works great. Uh, Sherry Martin just posted, watching it on both Facebook and live, cool. And uh, you guys totally rock. So for everybody else who's who's watching it live, just write the word live right there on, on the phone. And so part of what we wanted to show you here, at least what I wanted to demonstrate is how Joshua does this so well and see how easy it is. You know, you don't need a professional studio. You don't need a setup. You don't need a, a camera. You need your phone and Facebook. That's what you need. And then you need to just deliver value. You know, that's it. You can do it right here and you can do a significant number of doing this this way. So I'm a big fan of this. So th thank you so much, uh, Joshua, for sharing this with us. Um, any last, uh, before we sign off here, because we're at the end of the hour, but any last uh, pieces of advice for our friends and fans who have uh, joined us today? Yeah, great question. And, and, and I'm sorry, la instead of last piece of advice, tell us about your free gift. And I've posted a few times here, so you guys have it right now. It is um, uh, FB, like Facebook Freedom Formula, uh, forward slash Brett. I posted the link in there, so be sure to go to the link right now, FB Freedom Formula, and then you can um, download. Uh, t tell them what they're gonna get, Joshua. 
Yeah, great question. Uh, and for those of you guys that are still watching me live, uh, here's a special uh, bonus for you as well. Um, so at fbfreedomformula.com uh, forward slash Brett, there is, you can get instant access to a, it's a 23 minute training video that I shot in Guatemala where you'll discover that the six things to do on Facebook every single day to support you in attracting and earning an extra 15 to $20,000 per month from anywhere in the world, uh, working an hour a day using only your free Facebook profile, even if you don't have a list, a brand or a website. Uh, and it's just, it's fantastic content. Uh, that is the foundational stuff to positioning yourself in the marketplace for what you do and then proliferating with valuable content that your audience really enjoys and then how to promote a specific thing and how to get paid so that you can make a ton of money and attract all of your ideal clients just using your free Facebook profile with no marketing expenses, no website, none of that stuff. Um, so you can get access to that at fbfreedomformula.com uh, for those of you guys watching live and fbfreedomformula.com slash Brett. Totally, totally awesome. And, uh, you know, this was a really fun, super fun interview with you here, a really fun experiment. So I want to show everybody. Your... Too. <laughs> yeah, we're still, everybody's still alive. So you guys totally rock. Raquel says, I can do a live event at a mortgage closing. Yes, Raquel, you can. Um, you know, think about Raquel, you can, you can just now take your phone and do walkthroughs through uh, real estate. Um, and uh, you know, all you guys can do the same thing. You see how incredibly simple this is. So go to fbfreedomformula.com forward slash Brett. Uh, we posted in there in the links a few times. Sign up for Josh's course so you're gonna learn his, uh, get his 23 minute video on how to make 15,000 bucks a month in your business, working one all, only one hour a day with your personal Facebook profile. Josh, thank you so much. We sincerely appreciate it and um, man, Good luck. Much love to you, brother. And I uh, can't wait to uh, see you again soon. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right, my friend. Take care and much love, everybody. We're going to be here again same time at Tuesday. We'll see you next week. Namaste.